Now we will see what are the different softwares we are supposed to install before starting the learning and practice of Core Java, the language or the technology. I'm taking you to my presentation for that in a very documented way. You will have to just note it down and I will show you everything as practically as possible into the lab session. The different tools we are supposed to download and install are like this. Look at the presentation screen now. Tools which are supposed to be installed and the, diff uh, and the corresponding environment setups which you are supposed to perform goes like this. The first important tool which we are going to develop, uh, which we are going to download, sorry, my bad, is a text editor. Okay, man. Uh, Notepad is already there in, in the window based laptop or a corresponding text editor on, in Linux or the Mac you need to have. Uh, or you can uh, download something uh, which you feel comfortable in like Sublime and Text Editor for the, uh, for the Mac or the, uh, or the Linux platform. A Notepad++ for the window uh, will be a go-to text editor because it will give us some, you know, uh, line numbers and uh, highlighting the things with the help of some numerical, uh, you know, uh, line numbers. Uh, it's a, quite a, a good uh, text editor to begin your, you know, uh, manual coding. Uh, Apart from that, uh, once the uh, once uh, just hold on, uh, where is my pen? Pen, yeah. This is my okay. The notepad, a text editor, notepad, sublime atom, uh, any specific text editor will do. Uh, once the uh, when the text editor will be downloaded, then you will have to go and you will have to download JDK Java Development Kit. Okay, uh, Java Development Kit uh, is very much available. Uh, on the official website of Oracle, download the latest one, 21, version 21, or, or this stable one, uh, that is JDK uh, 17, LTS support, with the LTS support. Once you are done with the JDK installation, then you will have to go and you will have to download, uh, you will have to download a, a professional tool for software development, software application development in Java, and this is what we call Integrated Development Environment, ID. There is uh, two uh, you know, different uh, IDs available in the market. There are dozens of the IDs available in the market, but IntelliJ and Eclipse, these are two popular uh, IDs. IntelliJ uh, is, is really very you know, amazing to work with. Uh, there are a number of free features available in the IntelliJ Community Edition. We will get it downloaded and installed. And when this comes to the paid version, we will just switch ourselves into the Eclipse. And Eclipse is an open source uh, you know, ID. Uh, but it is really powerful and, you know, uh, uh, one of the de facto Java uh, ID with which the uh, Java software industry works. So, uh, we will have the IntelliJ on our system. Uh, we will have the, sorry, where is my highlighter, my selector. Okay, then we will have the Eclipse. So, Notepad, stable version of JDK or the latest version of JDK Java Development Kit, IntelliJ Community Edition, uh, one ID, second ID, uh, uh, and open source Eclipse J2E. Apart from that, we will also we will uh, we will also download a uh, Maven, uh, the project build tool. Very important, very important software for the Java programmers. Okay, uh, I'll let you uh, you know I, I'll I'll train you on that as well. And once the Maven will be downloaded and installed, we will also go for VCS tool, version control system. See, if you are a programmer, you will be you will be working in a team in a software software developer team, and then you will have to have a tool uh, uh, you know in your laptop with which you can collaborate with your team member and keep on tracking the different version history of your source code. So there, is a, uh, you know, there, are, there are VCS tools, version controlling system out of which uh, Git and GitHub is very uh, you know, popular. So I will train you on that. So we will download Git and GitHub. There are so many VCS, GitLab, Bitbucket, but we will focus on the industry standard at Git and GitHub. So we will have to get it downloaded and installed. Uh, just let it down because uh, in the last session, I will just get it everything done and you will have to keep on uh, following me while configuring your laptop for the learning purpose and mastering the core java technology once your git and github is on place you will have to go for the next one database technology there are two categories of database which you will have to target the sql database and the no sql database the relational database and the document uh, based uh, database uh, you know model in case of rdbms relational uh, database management system there are few software which are very popular mysql oracle and postgres we will go with the mysql to begin with and when it comes to the nosql we will target the mongodb later on so we are going to download we would be we would be downloading the mysql and we would get it uh, installed uh, once mysql is on place we will go for one another piece of amazing uh, you know software tool to work with 
as a developer and that's VS Code because there will be a time when you will be learning HTML, CSS, JavaScript. I will make you learn that for sure. And for that, we will follow the industry standard tool to practice and to keep on creating the you know beautiful looking web, uh, web designs. And the name of the tool is VS Code. So we will get it downloaded because this this training will get graduate into a full stack web development right from the Java language till the web technology. It will go like that. So we will we will just download the VS Code and we will get it installed. Okay. Once uh, in pass these uh, prerequisites uh, software uh, or the tools software tools will be installed for you to become a Java programmer. Uh, you will have to take uh, care of uh, one more important thing that once your JDK is being downloaded and installed, our development kit, you will have to configure the download folder location uh, to, uh, for for your underlying operating system. You know that uh, uh, I, I I got my JDK installed and JDK uh, installation folder is having uh, a Java folder and Java folder is having a Bean folder and Bean folder is having certain you know uh, development tools like compiler, interpreter, uh, Java docs and jar. These are the kind of things which you will have to get, you will have to configure for your underlying operating system. By default, your underlying operating system doesn't know about it. And 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 the process of configuring this, uh, you know, I, I'll also show it. Uh, I'll show this practically. The entire process is known as setting up the class path. So we will get it done. Okay. Once everything will be taken care of, your system will have the entire environment up and ready so that you can start the learning journey of your core Java. How the Java take a stack? Okay, so yeah, uh, these are the two uh, tools uh, you need to uh, begin with. And once your uh, tool will be uh, downloaded and will be up and running, we will go for one more important topic, and that is a complete overview of JDK. That once the JDK is being downloaded and installed, so what are the different programs and sub programs we used to get as a developer, and what are the different benefits we can enjoy from that? That's a complete overview of the tools uh, and the JDK tool uh, you need to you need to know, and that's the topic of the next slide.